I would say it's, uh, it's improving um, compared to where it was 10, 20 years ago. I guess the context of that is it's still at a disadvantage to where the US tech market is. I guess there's a couple of reasons for that, but the key ones in my mind are, number one, the US is just a much bigger homogeneous market. And in Europe, you start by addressing much smaller countries. And so much quicker you're at a point where you need to address the specificities of a different geography, different regulations, and so on. Um, secondly, the financing situation in Europe is just not as good as in the US. And so you just have a much bigger inflow of capital, especially when it comes to the, the angel stage, the sort of round A and round B stages. Um, and that is continuing to improve, but um, I still see a couple of challenges. And then finally, um, there is just the, I guess, the political and administrative environment where it's just easier to get up and running um, in the US. I guess what I've been seeing over the last 10 years, maybe 10, 15 years, is that in terms of where the technology itself is going, at least in software where I spend most of my time, is that um, the way software is built today makes it easier to travel across borders. So it's easier to use your existing product and adjust it for another local regulation or another geography. And so that has made it slightly easier for companies to attack a, a new geography, but you still have additional costs with each additional geography you enter into. And then in terms of funding, there has been an additional inflow of funding, for sure. But I still see a gap for early stage companies at around sort of the 20 to 40 million mark. So we don't have enough, I guess, venture capital or growth equity funds in Europe who are able to deploy tickets that total up for one deal to, say, 30 or 40 million. And that's where actually a lot of those businesses who are quite successful in terms of what they do, they, they struggle and, and some of them eventually fail.